What's up Guiding Bolt fans, this is Nick with another Owl Bear Rodeo video for you and what we're going to be taking a look at today is matching up the Owl Bear Rodeo grid with the grid lines that are on existing maps that you import. So you can see here that I already have a map imported and if we go ahead and edit this you're going to see as we zoom in here that the grid lines that Owl Bear Rodeo has assigned don't exactly match up with the existing grid on the map. So Old Bear Rodeo did its best and applied a 28 by 38, um, but you can see here that uh, one of those squares, this is the square right here, is about four times the size as one of the actual squares that are on the map. So we want to get those as close to matching up as possible so we can use some of the other cool tools like the measuring tool, uh, the snap to grid functionality, stuff like that. Um, so I'm going to show you my process for getting these to align. Now this isn't an exact science. If you know the exact science, please let me know because it does take a little bit of tinkering, uh, but I've gotten pretty good at it and this is just the process that I've been using. Um, so that's what I'm going to show you today. Um, I'm going to go ahead and zoom out here just so I can explain the, uh, the circles on the screen first. So this circle in the center, this kind of moves around the entire grid. So you can see here that as I move that, everything shifts around. And then these corner circles, what they're going to do is shrink this entire rectangle or the entire grid um, equally. So as I grab this and shrink it in, you can see here that the whole th thing is kind of like in proportion as I, uh, as I adjust it. And so depending on the number of squares that you have inside that larger grid, it's going to shrink or increase those all at the same size. So. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. Obviously the columns and rows is pretty self-explanatory. You uh, increase the columns which is left to right and then rows is top to bottom. So just so you can see that in action, let's go ahead and drop this down to one by one. There you go. That's all you should need. <laughs> just kidding. All right. So we have one column, one row, one box. Uh, if we go ahead and increase the column, see here that we have another square now next to the original one. Uh, if we go ahead and just continue to increase that, we get additional columns. And then obviously rows, that's going to drop those underneath. And that is important to remember because what we're going to do is we're going to adjust this center piece here. Um, and then what we're going to find out here is that we're going to have to bring that back up. Because when we add rows, I, I found it easiest to figure this out or to uh, adjust this with three rows um, just because there's less to look at. Uh, but then when we do that, what we have to do is actually drag this back up and add in rows because it adds them underneath. So you can see here that we have this kind of space on top that we're going to need to uh, fix after we're done. So let's go ahead and add in, let's start with 45 columns here just so we can get a good number of uh, squares on the grid. And then what I like to do is I like to find kind of the widest spot in the map, which it looks like that might be this area right here because we're going to have to adjust the circles on the left and right. We want to make sure that while we're adjusting, we don't accidentally cut out a side, you know, a piece of the map. So we want a good left and right, um, a good width from on either side. And then also I want a nice clean area that I can match up the kind of the center squares. And so this looks like a good spot right here. Let's go ahead and just zoom in and kind of see where we're at. And you can see we're already kind of getting pretty close. Um, however, it does look like yeah, we are still a little big on the Owl Bear Rodeo grid. So let's just add a few more of these in, and then hopefully we just need to do the left to right adjustments. So we drop that down to, or brought that up to rather 50, and you can see that that is pretty good right there. We're looking at, uh, let's actually move this up so we can just focus on the square underneath 14 here. Um, that looks pretty good. Uh, however, as you look to the right here, you can see that there is some cell creep. You see how that's no longer, that one square is great, but as we get over here, it's not looking so pretty. And we'll see that same thing over here to the left. So, but since we're close now, we should just have to adjust the left and right sides. So let's go ahead and scroll over here to this side and we'll zoom out just a smidge. That way we can see what's going on right here. And let's try, let's just bring this in a little bit until those look like they're close. It actually looks, that's looking pretty good right there. How close are we to that border? We could adjust a little bit. Let's go over to the other side though. 
and bring this in because we're still obviously way off over here. Let's bring that in to that into a boat uh, there. That's looking pretty good actually. We might have some up to bottom adjustment. Let's go back to our centerpiece and see where we're sitting. So we have that. Let's just go ahead and line center. It's good. We aren't off as far there on that side. Still off just a little bit though. Let's bring this in. It looks good and I still think we're going to be kissing the border <laughs> right there, but that's fine. Um, we're looking pretty good here still. Let's go adjust this side one more. We still have a little bit of wiggle room right here, so let's bring this over uh, until that matches up. I think that should hopefully be darn good. Just a little bit here. And just that not too much where we're going to cut off a substantial amount, but go one more left to right here yeah I think that looks perfect I think that's where we want to be all right so that is that's the hard part uh, honestly you could probably quit watching right now <laughs> I do I'll show you a couple of cool things at the end though just to make you uh, hopefully stick around um, so that's the hard part what we need to do now is just add in our rows and then change this um, bring that back up to the top so that way we can actually include in uh, and make sure we cover the entire map um, our grid scale is 5. That's going to be important for our measuring. So let's go ahead and keep that at 5. And you can see here as I, if I scroll up and look at the top, 1 square equals 5 feet. So that's where we want that to be already. So we're obviously going to have this map is taller than it is wide. So we're going to have more, uh, more rows than columns. Let's just go ahead and start with 60. You can see here that that threw our center circle way down off the map. So we just need to grab this and tow it up and we're kind of like looks like we're hugging the black line on this side so we'll just use that as kind of our as our marker as we drag this up here let's bring that to probably right about there let's see how we're looking on the top oh we need to go a little bit further up so let's maybe just drag that up to the top just so we can be as precise as possible and we'll throw on like another let's just say three rows to well i guess four rows that way we get the uh, the little tunnel kind of coming in here. All right, and that looks pretty good there. So we're hugging the border there. We got this side is all that's all included. Top and bottom looks great. Let's go ahead and zoom in here, and it looks like we just need to do one final tweak. Maybe that looks great. All right, let's scroll left to right. Still pretty good there. A little bit. We're off a little bit there, but I'm not gonna not gonna nitpick that right now. Let's try to keep this video short and sweet. You guys, you guys and gals, I uh, have the uh, have the idea now. Let's go ahead and save this, and we're gonna import a token in here and just kind of like look at the measuring to see if make sure everything is working. So we're 50 by 64 on that map. Let's go ahead and select that. And we can go ahead and zoom in here, and let's just go ahead and grab a random token. I know who that's for. Uh, but you can see here that already snapped to the grid. So as we are moving that around, that is snapping nicely. That is perfect. Um, if you want to adjust that, like let's say you didn't want to go through all this trouble, you can just go ahead and turn this off. And now you can put it anywhere you want. <laughs> so you can just make sure that you drag it and drop it within the grid lines. Uh, but what's the fun in that? Um, and then you'll also see here with the measuring tool, let's turn our, I guess we don't need to turn that on for this, but we can, now if we are casting or if we want to, let's say that this, uh, whoever this is, the cleric token, not sure. Whatever they are, they want to cast a range spell. So as we drag the measuring tool, see here that that is going to give us an accurate measurement now. Uh, one thing to keep in mind though when you're using it, so as we, the grid line, obviously this matches up now. If we start on the, on one side of the grid line and just simply move it to the other side, it counts it as five feet because it crossed a grid line. So you just have to make a note of that when you're measuring things, which side of the line you're on. So you can see if we start up here, we started on this side and then went out 20 feet it actually is so that's you know that looks fine right there 
and that is 20 feet as long as we're inside that one but if we start on this side and then drag it out 20 feet it doesn't actually show it as 20 feet even though it's four squares we have to cross this other grid line so just just keep that in mind um, as you're measuring things let's go ahead and turn that back on and I think that is going to probably about do it for the video. One other thing that you could do if your map didn't already include grid lines on it, if you open this back up and edit it, you can draw the grid that we just created with Owl Bear Rodeo. You can have it draw it on the map if you want. I didn't do that because it's already it already has good visible grid lines on it. The other thing is if I don't know if somebody was like tunneling through the wall or something. <laughs> if we go and look at the walls, they don't have grid lines on them, obviously. So if you wanted to draw it on there, then they would show up. So just a couple of things to uh, to keep in mind. But I think I'll go ahead and uh, end this video here. If you have any questions, go ahead and throw it down below. As always, thank you for watching. If you found it helpful, please uh, consider subscribing, and I'll hopefully see you in the next video.